Do you guys like my toboggan? I knitted it myself. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. My name's Shay. It's spelled C-H-E-T, but it's not Chet, so don't call me that. You've probably never heard of me. I'm actually a pretty well-known locally underground chef. What kind of cuisine do I specialize in? Well, I'd probably say that my culinary skills are unclassifiable. I've been seeing a lot of mainstream gifs making ramen burritos lately. I've been making ramen burritos forever. In fact, I'm probably the first person to actually think of the culinary idea. So today I decided to take over the bougie kitchen and show you guys just how to make Shay's real original ramen rito. The first step in making this original dish is to grab a pack of real organic ramen noodles. How do you know if they're organic? Because the nutritional fact information will have a sticker with printed English over the top of it. Cook these according to the directions on the packet. If you can't read the directions then you probably shouldn't be making this. Cultural appropriation is a pretty serious civil crime and you could be facing up to to like 25 years to life in Twitter jail. Don't be that person. While you wait on your ramen to cook, pull out your favorite book. I used to personally love Catcher in the Rye, basically because I felt like I really connected with Holden, as if Holden was myself. But now that that book has become so mainstream, I decided to dwell on a little bit more older and sophisticated literature. I've been reading this book since I was a little boy. Now that your ramen is finished cooking, make sure to strain the water and then add your sauce packets. The next, and probably the most vital, unironic step to take is to fry an egg. Most chefs probably fry their eggs in butter, but not this culinary artist. I like to fry mine in coconut oil. Coconut oil is also a great conditioner for your beard. Sometimes while I'm cooking with it, I like to rub it into my beard like this. How manly am I looking now? Now it's time for the assembly. Lay out your burrito wrap or your tortilla as some mainstream sheep like to call it. Add some sriracha, layer half of your ramen onto the burrito, add the egg, and then the rest of your ramen on top of the egg. Before tucking all of this in, you're gonna want to read it your favorite haiku off of Tumblr. That way it doesn't feel excluded and triggered. To my followers, all of you guys old and new, who are you for real? Once you've perfectly wrapped up your ramen rito, cut it in half. This masterpiece of a dish requires a plating style just as artistic. This dish comes paired with a vintage beard comb. That way, you can keep your manly shape through the entirety of this meal. Before you dig in, you're going to want to take a few artsy pictures for your Instagram followers. That's all I have for you guys today. I'm sure you didn't hate this video, so just go ahead and click that thumbs up button so the world can be properly educated on just how culinary geniuses work. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell at the bottom so that you know any time that I decide to take over the bougie kitchen on Tuesdays. My beard's starting to dry out a little bit, so I need to go ahead and oil it up some Chet. more. What are you doing here? It's pronounced Shay. Chet, I've known you since like the second grade. I know how to pronounce your name. Ugh, Chet is such a deplorable name. It's pronounced Shay. You know this by now. I don't care what you want to call yourself now. You know you're not supposed to be here when I'm not in town. Get out of my apartment. Fine, whatever. Bye guys. <sighs> So I guess I'll see you guys in next week's video since I apparently got hijacked this week. Okay, bye!